Good morning, friends. Birdie Warrior here. We go higher mindset marketing. If you look, you see my my German Shepherd dog McSlab. Say hey, girl. See, he's wiggling his tail. Isn't that cool? One of my guards. So here I'm. So here I am, ladies and gentlemen. So if you think about it, my topic today is the battlefield. If you think about that. The battlefield. Some people are say, what battlefield are you talking about? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of us went to church yesterday. Some of us went to church today and we're thinking, well, what battlefield are you talking about? If you think about it, we go to church and we got the pastors ministering to us and uh, letting us know, or at least some of them do, letting us know that the time that we are living in, right? And so when you think about being on the battlefield, we're always on a battlefield, if you think about it. Uh, in our communities, a lot of the young people, we're losing a lot of the young people. We're losing a lot of the male, okay? Uh, the, the jail houses is full of uh, black, Latinos, Hispanic, uh, Caucasian, whatever you want to call this, a lot of bl uh, male, male, that's behind bars. A lot of males are being killed daily, uh, a lot of our children are being killed daily. It's a battlefield. It's a battlefield. When we think about heaven and the the one third of the angels that made a decision to not to serve God, and they are, came here on this earth and Satan. Okay. So if you think about it, so there's two forces here on earth. Okay, but I don't know why when we say bad things happen to us that we we blame God for those things that happen. Now realizing there's two forces. There's a war that's raging for our souls. There's a war. Okay, we go to church, right? And and sometimes we put on our dancing shoes. We have a great time, and we state that we're filled with the Holy Spirit. But are we really? Okay, once you leave the church, what are you doing with that information that you have learned? Okay, are you continuing uh, being taken off those dancing shoes and putting on the armor of God? Okay, are you warning your neighbors? Are you warning your family members? Are we really, really seriously uh, praying and fasting like we have never had before? Are we doing that? Okay, think about it. Are we doing that? Are we praying and fasting and asking the Lord to take over our homes, take over our life, take over our minds? Because if you think about it, all the stuff that's going on with us, I mean, the food that we're eating is, is not right. The, the medication that some of us are on, uh, you know, the herbal stuff. I mean, if you think about it, sometimes we, we take this stuff and it's not doing anything to our bodies. And we kind of wonder, well, why am I not getting better? There's a reason why, you know, there's a war that is raging for all of us. And unless we as believers of God make a stand, make a stand, it's time for us to make a stand. There's so much uh, negative stuff going on. There's so much bad stuff going on. Yes, we need the bad in order to, to wake us up, right, to look at it and see. But we don't need to remain there, okay? We need to warn people that it, the hour is late, ladies and gentlemen, the hour is late, okay? Until we as a body, as believers, it doesn't matter uh, what uh, denomination that you belong in. If you think about it, if we call ourselves Christians, we don't put that label. We are Christian and we all here on a battlefield, a battlefield to wake up one another, stating that the time is late. Hey, Ramon, thank you for watching, T stating that the time is late. And when we think about it, our male child, okay, think about it. I, as I was thinking about last night about the male that I had in my family, it's limited, okay? Lost my uncles, I lost, uh, you know, different ones that we could say, you know, can, you t can I talk to you? You know, sometimes us as women, we need a man, Ramon, I thank you for your service. I uh, was always there for me. So you, we need a male that we can lean on and say, hey, brother. And then if you think about it, a lot of men are lost because they 
they don't know what the next level or the next steps for them because they don't have that role model that they can go and lean on. Maybe that that um, that brother or maybe that uncle, you know, or the father figure is no longer there. So when they go to the, you know, to get the haircut or whatever, the people are giving them advice is the wrong advice, okay? Sleeping around and all this stuff and not, not uh, taking care of your family. That is not the message that we need to give our men. Our men is the most powerful person there is. And as we as women will lift them up and try to figure out what it is that, that, that they need from us to make them a better person. Okay, that's where we as the mothers, we as the wife need to step in. Okay, realizing that that man has so much responsibility that's placed on his shoulder. And sometimes we as women, we, I think sometimes we forget. So this is just a wake up call. It's a battle for life. The family is being attacked, if you think about it. Sometimes there's no more, no more male within the homes. Okay. Uh, we are there's a lot of male in the jailhouse wondering why why is that you know, question everything okay so we as the mothers as the wife we need to stand in the gap and and start praying and fasting like we have never done before knowing that only through praying and fasting that we'll be able to reclaim what has been taken away from us okay think about that I mean, it's, it, it's really deep. And I think, um, you know, with the prophet Jeremiah, when he was warning Israel that the hour is late, we need to surrender. So this is a time for repentance, time to surrender our lives to God, knowing that he will take us through. And here it is. A lot of time we don't want to surrender because of the ego, not realizing that ego is taking us to hell. Think about it. Think about it. It's taking us to hell. So we as a believers of God, Christians, we need to stand together and call sin by its name. Sin is sin. Okay. There's no black or white. Sin is sin. And we need to stand up and call it by its name and start praying and fasting like we never done before. This is a battle, a battle for my life, a battle for your life, a battle for my brother's a battle for my sisters, a battle for my sons and my daughters, uh, for our grandchildren. Think about it. If we don't have no uh, role model, uh, someone that's stepping in the gap and saying, hey, this is not the way to live. We need to return, return to God. Who, who is going to stand? We go to churches uh, week after week, and they're not even preaching like the way they used to. You kind of wonder why. Why is that? So it's time for us as mothers, as fathers, as brothers and sisters to make a stand, okay, and start speaking and, and pulling our, our brothers, pulling our, our sons, our daughters aside and letting them know that is not cool to live that type of life. Does that make sense? I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a grandmother, I'm a, a sister. You know, it's time for us to call sin by its name. So if you look at, I was reading uh, Matthew 11, 12 talks about, you know, we need to take it by force. You know, each time the, the children of Israel was going to take over our, our land, God told them to, to wipe out. You had to wipe out. So this is a battle for our lives, ladies and gentlemen, until we as believers start standing and calling sin by its name. We will forever going into the, you know, in the wrong direction. So it's time for us to go into the right direction. And then if you look at also Revelation 19, you can start at verses 9 all the way to 21. And we think about John the Baptist when he keep on warning and he's warning. There's a lot of people that's warning us, but until we as individual, number one, start um, start living and being serious about our relationship. Yesterday I talked about the, the Harlan, the person that got hired. Then I talked about the servant, right? Then I, I mentioned the uh, the servants is the ones that are working in the churches and doing, you know, a, a lot of stuff. But then we need to move from that level to the friendship, to become a friend of Jesus. Until we become friend of Jesus and unlock, unlock into him, 
okay, and realizing realizing that he is the answer. He has the answer. The battle has been already won, but we as believers, of, as mothers, as brothers, okay, we need to come together as one, realizing that our family, we are here fighting for our family for our soul salvation is at stake here so ladies and gentlemen if you think about it i've got one of my favorite songs is uh, i'm on the battlefield i'm on the battlefield for my lord okay and we we as mothers as believers as wife we need to be constantly on the battle knowing that we are in a battle so whether or not we need to go ahead and open up that prayer room that private prayer room and start praying and fasting like we've never have for our brothers okay for our sisters for our children our grandchildren if we don't do that ladies and gentlemen they will not be able to stand in what is about to happen if you look all around you you know something is happening right you know you can feel it I don't know maybe because I live in a country I could feel certain things it's 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 a uh, it's it's really deep if you think about it. It's deep. What what is about what is happening? I'm trying to figure out. My lighting is not too great. If you look at that, is that better? I'm not sure. If you look at that, okay. So if you think about, it, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bird of Word, and it's just I guess my heart is just overwhelmed right now with all the stuff that we as believers need to start doing. Going to church and having a great time, but we need to take that information and pass it on to someone else, okay? And stop saying, you know, it's none of my business what so-and-so does. It is our business, if you think about it. That's my brother. That's my sister that's doing going the wrong way. It's for me to call him aside or call her aside and say, hey, you know, that's not right, okay? When are we going to start doing that? It's not right. It is not right. It's time for us to be on the battle and knowing that we are on a battle and the only way we're going to win we have to be connected to Jesus we have to have that relationship with him because he has a plan for our life so when are we going to wake up surrender and pick up the armor and start wearing our armor every way we go day in and day out 24 7 us as believers, we, I always say, we we always on the battlefield. So when do you take off your armor? We don't. <laughs> Isn't that something? We don't take off the armor. We're supposed to be always carrying the armor, okay? So I love you, my brother. I love you, my sister. So until then, this is Virgil Warrior with Go Higher Mindset Marketing. Until tomorrow, thank you, Ramon, for watching, and I really appreciate you, my brother. I've always have, I've always have a deep, um, how would you say, a, a deep uh, appreciation for all that you do. I see you all the time, okay? So with that, take care, ladies and gentlemen, until tomorrow. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.